everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it is the time of the month again for when I do my monthly Ipsy unbagging haul and I have been dying to open up this bag because June is my birthday month and my birthday was on June 15th which was Saturday and I was waiting and waiting for my Ipsy bag to come because I really wanted to film this for you all and then it actually came on my birthday so it was like another kind of like little surprise present um, kind of and I wanted to film it for you guys then but just getting ready for going out that night and everything I just didn't have time to so today is Monday and hopefully I can go ahead and get this video up um, have it edited and everything and it will go up either today or tomorrow to be Tuesday but I'm aiming for tonight so fingers crossed I can get it done um, but nonetheless I'm really excited for this month's bag especially since it's like my birthday month bag so I'm hoping a lot of really good things are in store for me so I'm gonna go ahead and get it open Alrighty, so as always, there is the little card, and I'm not going to look at it, but this just says on the wild side, and then this month's bag is so cute. Oh my goodness. So it is this leopard print with this neon zipper, which is really cute. I like it a lot, and the quality of the bag feels pretty nice. It doesn't feel like really flimsy or thin or anything like that. So opening it up, the first thing we have here is... These are fake eyelashes, and these are from, I think this is J-Cat. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like J-C-A, and then, I mean, this cat really doesn't like look like a T or anything, but I'm going to assume it's supposed to be like J-Cat or J-something. I don't even know. But, um, so these look really nice. They look super natural, and I really don't wear fake eyelashes. Um, I've never actually tried um, to put them on a whole lot, but I think this would be a good one to experiment with, so, um, I'm excited to try these out just because they look so nice and natural, so, that's the first thing. So, the next thing in here is this J-Cat, it's by that same brand, so I'm just going to call it J-Cat, um, Sparkling Cream Palette. So... Let's open this up, and I know NYX makes something similar to this, but, um... I've just never had one, and you would think, like, after me being, like, the sparkle queen, I would. So, this is what it looks like, and it's just all these really pretty different colors. You have a gold, a blue, a dark, like, foresty green, a gray with, like, multicolor specks in there, and then, like, a blue glitter, like, a light bluish purple. Um, so let's see how this works. Oh, okay, so it's like there's a little bit of cream in there, and then you really swirl around. This is going to be a mess. Um, and then I guess you have glitter. Oh my gosh, this just looks like it'd be so hard to work with. It's stuck on my finger. Alright, well here is a swatch, I guess, of the gold, and most of it is still on my finger. But alright, that's cool. I think it'd be a bit better to use, obviously, with like a brush or something like that. I need a tissue to wipe all this off. But, okay, that's really cool. I do love glitter, so, um, no, oh, this is all over the place. Oh, my God. But, um, definitely let me know if you guys would like to see a tutorial, um, using this. I think it'd be really fun to do a tutorial using these, um, but after I play around with it for a little bit, definitely let me know if you guys would like to see something like that. I think it'd be really fun, and there are some really nice colors in here, so I would love to do it for you. The only thing is for that gold one, the glitter seemed pretty chunky. Um, like actual glitter, but I think in a couple of the other ones, like it's more fine. Yeah, like this one right here, that last like grayish blue color is definitely like more of a finer glitter. Like the other one is like full size glitter chunks. But um, I definitely have to play around with that a bit more. Maybe I have to use like a glitter glue base or a maybe take like lash glue and like stick it on before that I don't know but definitely let me know if you guys like to see a tutorial or anything like that once I have played around with it I would love to do one for you all and let's see what's next now that there's glitter all over the place here is a NYX mosaic powder and this is in the color spice which I actually already own um I've had it for about like two years now and I've never gone through it so since I already have that color I think I'll probably just give this one away to um a friend or someone 
um, but I definitely love this product. It's just a gorgeous color and you can use each of the little shades individually or um, just swirl them all together. Usually I like to swirl them all together and it just gives you the prettiest pink color. So um, it's like a dark pink though. So definitely a good product and I always love NYX products. This is a good pick for the month. I just only wish that like I got a color. Like out of all the colors they probably had to pick from, of course I get one that I already have. But I guess when you have as much makeup as I do, that can happen. So let's see. Next thing we have here is this is from Star Looks and this is a, this looks like a lip liner and this is in the color Tickle Me Pink. And, yeah, I'd imagine it's a lip liner. I don't know many eyeliners in this color, so I guess it's a lip liner. And let's see if I could open this. This is going to be a while, guys. Alright. I hate when the plastic, like, gets stuck to your finger. Go away. Alrighty. So this is what it looks like. It's just a pencil liner. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. I'm glad that I got it in this pink color because you guys know that I always wear pink lipstick so I definitely will have pinks to match this. So I'm really excited about that. And then right here we have a, uh, what is this? This is an ivory lace highlighter. This is like a highlighter crayon and this is from the brand Chella. And we have gotten um, stuff from this brand before, which um, I think the last thing I got was a like brow gel. But this is what the highlight looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. I swear, I'm like the worst at swatching. There, I'll put it like right in the middle of my hand. <laughs> Why? I have all this hand space and I choose to put it all the way over here. I don't even know. But it's really creamy and it blends out super nice. Although like when you blend it, it kind of just disappears. But, um, I don't know, we'll see how that works with um, putting it on like a brow bone highlight or an inner corner highlight or, um, you know, I'm pretty sure you could just use it all over your face, I'm sure. So, I'm definitely excited about all of these products. And that is everything I got in my Ipsy bag. The inside of the bag is that like lime or like bright yellowy green color. So, that is that. So that is everything I got in this month's Ipsy bag and I'm really pleased with everything that I got. Um, I'm definitely really curious to see how that cream palette's going to work out without having it be too messy so I'm definitely going to play around with that and I would love to do a tutorial using it with for you all and um, I'm happy that we got a NYX blush. I just wish it was in a color that I didn't already have and I'm excited to try out my lashes and then my brow highlight and a lip liner you can always use. So this month's bag was definitely a really interesting bag and as you could see pretty much everything I got was full size. So this month I'm pretty sure even if this isn't full size this is like a jumbo sample size but I'm pretty sure this is full size. So and this is totally a full size lip liner, definitely a full size NYX blush. This is typically what these palettes look at and I don't think they make trial size eyelashes. So this month we got all like regular size or full size products which is absolutely phenomenal because I only you only spend $10 on the bag and then you also get a nice cosmetic bag. So as I've said in numerous videos, Ipsy is definitely I think one of the best monthly subscription services that I've seen um, and it's the only one I'm actually subscribed to just because I've watched other people's like unboxing videos and for the price that they're paying for their stuff like I feel like I would be kind of disappointed if I got like if I spent that much on a box but Ipsy never seems to let me down I have had maybe one or two bags in the about like I think I've been subscribed for seven months or so um, I have had one or two bags that were kind of like iffy or like not that many great products but they always come back and redeem themselves and last month's bag was really good the month before that was really good so so far they are on a winning streak so um, I'm always excited to see what next month is um, going to have so so far so good with Ipsy and yeah so I feel like I've been talking for forever and that was just a little bit of a ramble but um, I will definitely have Ipsy linked down below if you guys want to go ahead and check out um, their website and see if you can maybe snag a spot because I know spots are limited and I'm not sure if there's a waiting list or not 
um, just because everyone loves Ipsy. But um, I'll definitely have that linked down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out and see what products they offer or have been in previous bags and everything like that. So I'm going to stop talking now and yeah, so <laughs> I thank you guys so much for watching this video and I can't wait to talk to y'all in my next video. Bye!